welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the Weight Watchers or the WW Blue Plan. Happy Friday friends, it's Friday, it's the end of a week, it's the weekend and it's another weigh in and WW workshop topic recap. So if you're excited for this video, don't forget to give it a big huge thumbs up and if you're new to my channel or you haven't yet subscribed, I do a weigh in every single Friday. We go over the WW workshop and I let you know kind of how my week was and what my goals are moving into the next week. So make sure that you're subscribed and that you ring the bell next to it so you never miss a Friday weigh-in or any other video for that matter. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Let me give you the information you need to be most successful. I will tell you that most of my clients that have used my macros and have followed them consistently have lost more weight than they ever have before. So highly, highly recommend that service. And if you're looking for a little bit more individualized or one-on-one -on -one support, I do offer 30 and 60 minute coaching sessions. So check that out as well. Links, discounts to all of my very favorite things, as well as my Facebook group are also down in that description box. So we have a lot to talk about. It's been another week. Let's jump in. Boy, it has been another week. Not only am I 100% still in puppy mom mode, my favorite time of the month started this week and it has been a rough one. I haven't been feeling very good. I'm extremely fatigued and tired. I'm just not feeling like my normal self. So that's been a little bit rough this week on top of being extremely busy with Palmer and of course, you know, getting things up and running here on YouTube, filming videos and editing and cleaning my house and doing my laundry and all of my responsibilities have been a bit much this week. It's been a pretty rough week for me. I started the week off well before my time of the month rolled in and the end of the week didn't finish off as well. I just got sidetracked with life and pretty much didn't track the later part of the week. Basically the last four to five days, I didn't even track. Now that doesn't mean that I went crazy and ate all the things. I still was mindful and watched what I was eating. It just wasn't top on my list. I don't know what it is. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just struggling with the motivation to track. Not necessarily the motivation to eat well and definitely not the motivation to work out, but the motivation to track. I'm really struggling with that. I don't know what it is. It's just maybe a little bit of diet or tracking fatigue. I'm just not motivated to track my food. You know, I took a couple weeks off in March from tracking when we originally got our puppy. And I don't know if maybe I need a little bit of a break from tracking again, maybe a longer break. I have to really think about that. But as of right now, I'm struggling with tracking my food. What I'm not struggling with is getting in my workouts. I've been nailing my workouts. It's actually been a little bit of an escape from having a puppy. And as you guys know, my husband's on medical leave, so he's home all the time. So it just gives me a little bit of me time. And when I'm done working out, I just feel so much better. So that's been a huge thing that's been positive this last week. So with having a puppy, not feeling the best, it's just definitely been a week that I've struggled. But before I share my way in with you guys, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this week's WW workshop, and that is to make your habits stick. If you're ready to build a new habit, maybe that's tracking your food, Jen, maybe building the habit of actually consistently tracking, there are some steps that you can take to effectively build a new habit. Number one is to choose a focus. Choose a focus for that habit. Maybe it's to eat better, to exercise more, to sleep soundly, or maybe even just shifting your mindset into a more positive one. Number two is to brainstorm ideas on how you can take that focus and implement it into developing a new habit. Write down three ideas for some behaviors that would benefit you in establishing a new habit. Choose one of those behaviors and repeat that at least three times this next week. Write it down in the calendar, track it in your planner, give yourself a gold star every day that you complete that behavior. And your goal is to do that three times this next week. And the last piece of the puzzle is to reflect and think back on how did it make you feel to do that behavior, that positive behavior that's going to help you build a new habit over the course of the week. Did you feel successful in that? Did you feel motivated and determined to keep going? There's 
conflicting information on whether it takes 21 days or 30 days to develop a new habit, but you can start with doing that positive reinforcing behavior three days a week. And eventually as time goes on and you continue to do that, you'll develop a new positive habit. And remember when behaviors have an immediate positive reinforcement, they make you feel better immediately. We want to continue those behaviors. I want to share with you some examples of these four different behaviors. So if your goal or the habit you'd like to build is to eat better overall. Some things you could think about doing behavior wise is to track your meals before you actually eat them. So when you sit down to eat or before you sit down to eat, track your meals. Include a vegetable with every meal. This is something that I've actually done in the past and have really benefited from this to make sure that I have a veggie with every meal. And how about meal prepping or preparing your lunch while you're cleaning up your breakfast. That way it is there and ready to go when it comes to lunchtime. Let's say that your habit you'd like to form is to move more. How about standing up every single hour? If you wear a fitness tracker, it will generally prompt you to stand every hour. How about taking a nightly walk after dinner? It's really good to get our bodies moving after we've consumed a meal. It helps digest it a little bit more efficiently. So how about taking a quick evening walk? And lastly, what about dancing it out? Dance like no one's watching in the morning, in the evening whenever you're feeling like you just need to get up and move how about doing just a little dance in your living room if the habit you'd like to form is to sleep a little more soundly try reading a book before bed instead of being on your phone those lights and the blue light from your phone actually helps keep us awake not put us to sleep make a worry list this will actually help clear your head of all of your worries and lastly put on some calming music and stretch stretch out your body to that calming music and generally that will help trigger your hormone that it's time for you to sleep. And the last positive habit may be to really have a big shift in your mindset and your overall thinking. Some behaviors that will help you do this is write down three good things that happened that day every single night. Have a little notepad in your nightstand, put it in the notes on your phone, but every night write down three good things that happened that day. And don't tell me there wasn't three good things. There's always three good things, whether they're big or small, that happen to us every single day. You can also think of a non-scale victory when you wake up in the morning. Don't base it around the scale, base it around non-scale victories. Maybe you got out of bed a little quicker that morning, or maybe your body isn't as tired and sore as you continue to lose weight. And lastly, have a friend, have a go-to buddy, someone you can call when you're feeling stressed out that will help put you at ease. So hopefully this helps you think about a new habit that you'd like to start and the behaviors associated with building that habit. It's always good to have little mini goals, little mini things that we want to change and improve on on our weight loss journey. So it's funny that this was the topic when I just told you that I'm really struggling with tracking my food. So a habit that I would like to develop is to consistently track my food. I need to sit down and think about some behaviors that would benefit me in consistently tracking my food. For me right now, my mine, my heart just isn't in it. So I really need to deep dive into myself and figure out what's going on and really figure out why I just don't want to track my food. And I know that that isn't beneficial to my weight loss journey. I know that, but sometimes what we know is the right thing to do and what we are doing don't necessarily line up. So my goal moving into this next week is to take a hard look at why I'm just not motivated to track my food. And I'm going to be setting up a challenge for myself for the month of May. It's going to be kind of like a 75 hard, but not a 75 hard. I'll definitely be sharing my challenge and what is part of that challenge with you guys as we get a little bit closer to April. There are some things that I'm want to set up for myself to do every single day in the month of May to help develop a positive habit, a habit that is going to help me on my weight loss journey. So stay tuned for that as we get a little bit closer to the end of the month of April. So with getting in my workouts, eating relatively well over the week and just not necessarily tracking, when I stepped on the scale today, I'm actually up point four. And that partly is because of my cycle. I'm right in the middle of it. And this is the time for me that I generally see the scale go up just a little bit. So I'm not upset about it. I know that there's things in and out of my control that were part of that point four. What I am a little bummed out about is that I didn't reach my 60 pounds loss. And instead of being point two away, I'm now point six away. But I have faith that I can do that this next week. So now I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know if you're struggling with tracking or if there's anything overall that you're struggling with and what healthy habit you would like 
to build. Also, let me know if you'd be interested in taking part in this challenge that I'm going to put together for the month of May. I'll be posting all of the challenge information in my Facebook group. So if you're not in my Facebook group, head on over and join us there. I'll be posting what I'm going to do for myself in that group. I'll also be talking about it here in videos on YouTube, but on Facebook is where you're going to find the most information. Also, let me know how your week was. Did you gain? Did you lose? I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what healthy habits you want to build. And if you're struggling, of course, I'm here to help you. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit that little subscribe button so that you never miss a Friday weigh-in or another video for that matter. If you ring the bell next to it, you'll be notified every single time I upload. Check out the description box for nutrition coaching. This may be a good time for a one-on-one -on -one session if you're struggling like I am with a piece of your weight loss or your maintenance journey. Also links, discount codes to all my favorite things. And don't forget to join my Facebook group if you want to be the first one to know about my huge challenge I'm putting out for myself for the month of May. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Happy Friday. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul.